It worked. G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining me today. Um, the people at Elegoo have sent me this Smart Robot 3.0 Plus to review. Now, I don't get many, you know, products sent to me, so I'm happy to do reviews. If you send me a product, I'd love to review drones and um, electric bicycles uh, or electric skateboards or something like that. But um, this is what I'm reviewing today. I'll give you my honest opinion. Um, my first honest opinion is I don't know why they really sent it to me. I think they think I'm some expert in Arduino or something like that, but I'm not. Um, I helped um, do a Large Hadron Collider Kickstart project, uh, but it sort of like got sent to me, um, and I, all I did was plug it in and it worked. So I didn't have to program the Arduino or anything like that. So although I do know a little bit about coding, um, I, I haven't actually spent any time at all with an Arduino, so we'll just see what happens and I'll review this thing. Now the first thing I want to say is that it costs about $60 US apparently and you know it actually feels quite heavy, it's weighty, um, which is I think a really good sign. Um, so I'll just start with my box cutter and you know I really don't know anything at all about this product. so. You know, um, I'll just do it and just see what happens. I'll open it up and find out. Smart robot. Okay, hopefully I'm smart enough to do something with it. So open it up and it's got some type of instruction. Smart robot car kit 3 plus assembly tutorial. Hopefully it's in English. It is, it is. And um, oh, you look at this, look at this. The pictures look really good. The pictures look quite clear. And I think I might be able to, I think I can follow those instructions. All right, that's good. And it's got three nicely packaged sort of boxes in here. Boom, boom, boom. And something else, Car Kit 3 Plus. Um, so that's a good start, it's a good start. I'm not sure what to open up first. Let's go to the assembly instruction. Thank you for your support, okay. Uh, it's got different service emails to um, contact. Attention, remove the protective film before assembling. Now it's starting with something big and flat, so I think, I think we're talking about this because this is big and fairly flat. Um, I'm hoping not to do too much editing in this video, so there we go, that's the, that's the chassis, chassis, there's A, A and A, alright, two A's, they look fairly similar, but there's a few little differences where the holes are, so maybe this is the top, this is the bottom. But it says remove the protective film. Oh, it's poor. Oh, how satisfying is that? Nice. I guess open up another box. Let's see what we've got. Oh, oh, all sort of like sensing gear and control gear and that sort of stuff, like some little eyes, some type of sonic transducery sort of thing. Um, wow, electronic components. Okay, hopefully I won't need those just yet. So let's pop them back in there. Get to those later. And what about in here, this box? Ooh, nice. Ooh, yay, it's got screwdrivers and stuff like that. And little servo, cool. Um, ooh, battery, okay, nice battery pack. Um, probably, a, I don't know whether it's lithium iron, I don't know, or nickel, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But we've got lots of bags of bolts, which is good, even some tape. And what's in this box? Zoop. Oh, -ho! Little controller and some leads. 
and oh, four motors with gearboxes and four big wheels. Look, that looks looks like quality. That's for sure. Um, so I'm I'm excited. Uh, I don't know whether I've got the brains to. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to build it, but whether I can actually put it together. M330 hexagon pocket screws. Got that. And there's some nuts in there, so that's good. Aluminium block. Now that's not an aluminium block. Oh! Yes, 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 yes. Found it. It's smaller than I thought it would be. But that, that is an aluminium block. Good. So, boom. M3 times 30. I imagine that's the length. 30 millimeters. And now there's some nuts in here. Oy! Don't want that to roll down. And. Okay. And. Oh! Pop that all back in. It's probably going to be something repetitive, I reckon. And it wants me to get out a motor. Boom, like this, here, and then pop this through, okay, will that go through? Yes, now I have to attach these four motor gear assemblies to the chassis. And I, it looks like I do that by taking these little 10 mil bolts and they will go up into the, drive them up into those aluminium blocks. And that's what will hold them in place. So. That's pretty straightforward. Don't get sent many products. I don't think you ever do an honest review, I can tell you that now. I don't like the product. It's not gonna get a good good review, that's for sure. So <laughs> if you've got rubbish, if you're a company and you just got rubbish, don't send it to me because you know, I'll probably do your review and it will be negative and then you'll ask me to take it down and I'll be like, well, why should I take it down? It's an honest review. You asked me to do the review. So you better make sure that you you got confidence in your product. Page three, done. Good. Yay. Okay. Some type of something to plug those those motors into, which is good. Probably best if I go sideways, I'd imagine. So let's attempt to go sideways so it doesn't all, gravity doesn't like pull apart on me. And then, it looks like it's pretty straightforward to clip these motor units into the yeah that looks straightforward click him in the next part of the chassis okay come on come on bring it around two three yay Okay. Pay attention to the front and the back side. Okay, well that seemed to go quite well. And then, oh, the expansion board. Aha. Uh -huh. That just gets plugged in. Ooh, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Looking at the picture, I have to go this way. Oh, 
it's not too hard I don't think I want to be careful that I don't like bend the bend the prongs assuming it has to click in there click in there Pretty full on, doesn't it? Wow. Ooh, in the battery pack. Oh, it's a lithium battery. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm no Lego expert or anything like that. I don't like build stuff from kits very often at all, so I'm not very good at building stuff from kits. Well, I might be good at it, but I certainly haven't had a lot of practice at it, that's for sure. Okay. Status indicator light. Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> I've got power. Some pretty smart kids around. Smarter than I was, that's for sure. Yay, there we go. Our eyes and up with page 13. Beautiful. Keep pushing that down. Yeah, and there's some nice mounting holes there. Good, might just be naughty and rotate that bell like that. As I said, you shouldn't you shouldn't rotate a um, servo manually. You end up shredding their little gears. So don't don't tell anyone that I did that. But I remember that as a kid. That's how you'd wreck your radio control cars by moving the wheels manually. And shred those poor little gears. There's lots of little plastic gears in there that are not designed to be moved by hand. They're designed to be moved by the electric motor. Line it up with the picture. I'll have more success, I think. Battery's at the back. That's like that. And then let's pop that there like that. Click. And then, ooh. Happening. It's happening. Hmm. Okay. All right. It's heavy. It's heavy. So they need to go on. Aha, push him on, and then that will go on there like that, then a little screwdriver again, and screw that on. <laughs> Getting there. Looks good. For the thumbnail, smile. Smart Robot Car Upload Program. We have already uploaded programs onto the Smart Robot Car so you can skip this step. There are four modes of Ogu Smart Robot Car which are Bluetooth mode, Infrared Remote Control mode, I like that, Obstacle Avoidance mode and Online Tracking mode. Okay, let's turn it on. Turn it on. <gasps> oh! See the eyes move? <laughs> I'll be a bit naughty. Turn it off. I'm going to rotate the eyes like that. Yeah, this is a bad thing to do. Let's turn it on again. And oh, hey, returns it to center. Wait for presses. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Forward. What am I pointing? Oh, stop. Back. Whoa. So one more. What about left? Whoa! And back. Back. Woo. Okay, so sorry about the audio, but um, I've got my helper Sam here, and Sam is going to try this car out. We'll try the normal controller, and then we'll try putting a few things and that sort of stuff. Okay, so turn it on. 
and you can just use the forward and arrow. Ooh. I'll do all the fans. Oh, we're not going to go off the edge. Oh, that was close. So let's start it. Don't you have... Put the sensor there in the middle. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what number you got to press. So you got to press mm -hmm. number... Number? You got to press number one. One. And make it stop. Yeah. Press OK. Okay. Oh, so let's... Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Press OK. Press OK. <laughs> okay. Let's pop it there and see what happens. <laughs> OK. Press number one. Yeah. OK. Let's see what happens. That's it. Number one. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know how good the line tracking is, Sam. OK. Let's pop it there and press number one and see what happens. Oh! Oh! Oh, I got confused by that. Well, what? I think it got confused by that white line. Oh, yeah. Oh! 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 Just needs a bit of help. Woo! Press number two and see what happens. Okay, so what's my thoughts on the Illigu Smart Robot 3.0 Plus car kit? Good. It's um, solid. You get what you pay for. Um, it's well built. Um, everything fits together. All the pieces are there. Uh, I haven't explored, you know, the, the coding of it. Um, and that would be something that um, someone else would do. I'm not, I'm not all that interested in coding personally. Um, the tracking of... Um, didn't seem to work as well as I would have liked, but maybe there's something that needs to be adjusted with that pot there, maybe the sensitivity or something like that. I'm not too sure, um, but I'm sure you could get that going well, and I'm sure that the app would work. Um, so, yeah, I enjoyed putting it together, and it's nice when something is robust and has uh, and is good quality. So, there we go. Um, keep that review in mind if you're thinking about purchasing um, this kit. Okay. Bye for now. Jacob from Max Science Fun. Signing out. <laughs>